everybody, welcome back to What The Face, glad you're here. And today, our last holiday release is going to be demoed, and that is Christmas time. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. It's been out already, but I know a lot of people had been waiting for it. Uh, of course, we also have the, the Christmas time aftershave as well. Um, the, the notes of this, mm, I have been told that this is the closest thing to Christmas, to a tree, to the holiday that they've ever experienced in a scent. I think that's pretty amazing, but uh, that's what was said. So, um, just repeating it. I do believe it, but I'm just repeating it. Mm. So, we're going to be doing this today, but I was supposed to open up with a Christmas hat on, and uh, I usually get the hat that's in this package. Now this is a, uh, if you're not familiar, Chevy Chase did a National Lampoon vis Christmas Vacation. It's a pretty solid classic for the holiday. Um, it's funny, I still laugh at it in some, some points, but uh, as you can see, no hat. No, no hat at all. Here's the, the video, and if you're ever curious of what was in here, so there was the hat, which I don't have right at the moment, and then there's uh, coasters. Put this back here. Then there's coasters. I don't know if you could see that. They have the scenes from the movie kind of deal. You could, I guess you could put them out. I've never used them, but they've just been in here. I actually only put on the hat. This is a uh, I survived the Griswold Family Christmas button. See, it's not even open. Nothing was done. This, um, this is really, this is the replica of, of what he was drinking from <laughs> in the movie. The, uh, the moose chalice, I guess you would call it. And then, for some odd reason, there is snow powder. Who knows why, but there is. So that's the contents of that. It was I bought it when it was really big on Blu-ray. Uh, I, I don't even watch Blu-rays anymore. Everything I do is is now streaming. So <clears throat> it's a shame because I used to love Blu-rays with all the special contents in them and stuff. But uh, you know you can't go to a store and and really pick them up as readily available as you used to. <clears throat> but regardless of that, uh, what I'm going to do is also use, um, for this shave, I have the Zen Shave brush, which I'm going to use again. I'm going to use uh, my Occam's razor, and I will be putting in a new blade in this. And that's it, so uh, stay tuned. Don't go away. Okay, as you can see, here's the bowl, it's empty, and here is uh, Christmas time. Let's open it up, and you can see that this is very, very easy to just take and put right into the bowl, and I'm doing a little bit of that right now, and uh, once I do that, we'll, uh, we'll start the lather, so uh, we'll, we'll do that. You know what I wanted to actually say? is, um, before I forget, because I was trending off topic, um, I put a new blade in this, but, you know, I, I noticed that it wasn't clicking into place, and I had to tighten up these two little screws that are right here and here. Um, I had dropped it once or twice, and maybe that rattled the cage of this thing and loosened it up, so I'm glad I took another look. So if anybody does have one, Always check those little screws on the bottom. You never know when they're going to get loose. Okay, so let me uh, let me put the soap in the bowl. Okay, so the soap is in the bowl. Here's the brush, the Zen shaped brush. I'm going to put some warm water on it. So, and now, well, it looks like I'm going to have to wait a little while. I forgot to do this ahead of time.
I'm going to empty the contents of the brush into the bowl and now I'm going to do the lathering so uh, here we go if I need to add more water I will I don't think I do holy cannoli that scent is coming right out If you know anything about this brush, the Zen Shape brush, it soaks up a lot of lather. My other brush is still at the studio. I haven't picked it up yet. I've been trying to get there. Every time I try, something comes up. It's such a pain. You know, he did me the big favor, and I just can't get there to pick up my stuff, and I know he wants me to pick it up. Alright, look at that. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, bring this to the face and do the shave. Okay, so I have about six days growth, so let me with the face. A new acne spot, you can probably see it right there. So, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. <laughs> Here's the lather, so let's apply it. It's going on really nice, very creamy. Got that scent coming out, just a wonderful holiday aroma. I got a little soap in my mouth. That doesn't taste good. <laughs> Christmas time does not taste good. It smells good. It doesn't taste good. All right. Holy cannoli. Look at that. Wow. See? All right. So I'm going to wet the... Occam's razor, start here at the bottom, and away we go. Now, compared to the twig, I'm halfway done with the bottom of my neck. Pretty quick. I watched this movie called Us and it was about a family who had like a doppelganger try to get them. In fact, there was a, a whole town of them, but uh, there's a lot of loopholes in that, you know, it didn't make sense, especially the ending, which I won't give away, but I, I, I didn't see how, I don't know, it's just a movie. 
I guess I'm overanalyzing it. It's supposed to be scary. It was kind of scary, you know. I think the actors, even the little kids, were absolutely fantastic in that movie. They played some good parts, you know, they played themselves in... They played the, the good and the bad. In, in the movie, you know, the good person and the bad person. It was quite impressive what they did. Pretty, pretty good achievement. And I have been also watching something called, well, it's on CBS uh, All Access, and it's called Coyote. It stars the guy who played in um, The Shield. I don't know if anybody remembers that, which I really enjoyed. That was a great series, The Shield. But, um... He's now in this, he's now a Border Patrol guy who is retiring, gets caught up in some crazy crap, and then the cartel is telling him to bring, pe bring people back to the United States. The person who does that, who takes a person from Mexico and brings them to the United States is called a coyote. So I've been watching that, and that was, I got it all set up to watch, I think I'm on the second to last episode, they're about an hour each. Don't know if it's going to be renewed, because there was no talk about it, but um, if it does good, they always renew them. Except if you're a Netflix uh, series, then doesn't matter how well you do, you can get axed at any time. Woo! Very nice. So a very close shave. No nicks, no cuts, even uh, save the area from uh, having to, having that bleed. So let's uh, shake this up, crack it open, and place a little of this goodness right on. Oh, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Wow, that's a strong, that's strong, that's for sure. <laughs> You'll be smelling like a tree. <laughs> so, that's the uh, Christmas time. Uh, that's all of our Christmas themed, holiday themed uh, soaps for the year. Um, I have something coming up which uh, might be of interest. It's the new Pearl release. They sent me one to do a review on, so uh, I'll be doing that shortly, hopefully next time we meet. So uh, until then, I hope you guys have a good shave. I had one, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.